Hi everyone, welcome back to this fresh new section of classification algorithms. In this section, we are going to learn a fairly new algorithm which is known as K nearest neighbor. Now, K nearest neighbor is one of the simplest machine learning algorithm that is based on supervised learning techniques. Okay, so let's get started with K nearest neighbor. So from the name itself, you can just denote that uh, nearest neighbor. This algorithm is completely based on the nearest neighbor. We have a data point and depending upon the number of nearest neighbors that we have, it is able to verify the category of it. So um, what I mean by this is, uh, let's say this is how the before picture looks like. Okay, This is before applying the algorithm. Okay, So we have a category one. Okay, This is one category circle it out uh, with a different color tone okay so this is one category and then we have a different category okay we have two different classes these categories are nothing but two different classes and then we add out a new point okay so let's say that this is a fairly new point in our, our data set okay let's say this point is a new data point Okay, and after applying K and N, okay, it will be able to predict that it belongs to the blue category. Okay, that is category one. So it will belong to category. Okay, it belongs to this class. So uh, that is how uh, the KNN is used for. Now, just remember the KNN algorithm assumes the uh, similarity between the new case data and available cases and put the new cases into the category that is most similar to the available categories. Now what I mean by this in very simpler words that whenever I have a new data points, I uh, put it into the uh, nearest, uh, the most similar category. Okay, KNN algorithm stores all the available data and classify a new data point based on that similarity. So uh, we have uh, our data set. We will store all the data set. Okay, let's say this is my data set and we have some more points here. Okay, and then what we do is whenever we get a new data point, based on the similarities, it is able to predict at which category it belongs to. KNN algorithm can be used for regression as well as for classification, but mostly it is for classification. Okay, so when we had read about regression problems, we have seen that we can also implement it on uh, KNN regression, right? We had a KNN regressor, but uh, we didn't implement it much because most of the times KNN is used as a classification algorithm. So we are going to see how it works for the classification task. KNN is one of the most simplest algorithm that we are having. Okay, and it is completely based on the distance function. It is a non-parametric uh, algorithm, which means it does not make any assumptions on underlying data. In our previous algorithms, you must have seen that whenever we have uh, data points, whenever we uh, train our model, what it does was it was doing some assumptions on our data point. Like if, uh, let's take the example that this is a scale, Whatever we have in this space is a different category. Whatever we have in this space is a different category. Okay, that were assumptions that we made. Okay, from our data using any other machine learning algorithm. But what K nearest neighbor does is it does not make any assumptions on the underlying data. That is the uh, that is the training data which we provide. Okay, so it's a non-parametric algorithm. So these are some points that you should remember. It's a non-parametric, non-parametric algo rhythm next is it's a lazy learner initially when we started learning about machine learning we had talked about few terms one of them was lazy learner so what exactly was lazy learner and why k nearest neighbor is a lazy learner because it does not learn from the learning set immediately instead what it does is it stores the data set and at the time of classification it performs an action on the data set Okay, what I mean by this, let me write it out, lazy learner. Okay, so whenever we have our data set, it does not do anything to the training set. 
okay it's a very uh, it's a lazy learner why because when we pass in some new data at that point of time it will do or it will try do the classification task it performs an action on the data set after some new data points has been applied to okay so knn algorithm in a nutshell knn algorithm at the training phase just stores the data set and it gets the new data then it classifies the data into a category that is much similar to the new data so uh, let's say this is the knn algorithm when we pass in the training data it does not do anything at that point of time why because it's a lazy learner these are the keywords that will be asked on uh, your coding interviews okay what do you mean by lazy learner what do you mean by non parametric uh, parametric algo so knn is a lazy learner when we pass in the training data it does not do anything when some new data has been given out then what it does is then at that point of time it will perform the classification task and make that new point in that specific uh, category like uh, whichever uh, it is much similar to okay so that was a brief overview of the knn algorithm now let's look into the um, algorithm how it works okay so let's jump into the next video